Alrighty, fans, what's up? Uh, kind of came out here to film a little bit. It's gonna be very quick. It's not gonna be that long. I'm just gonna show you the aftermath of the storm. This, as you can see, you're probably like, why are you pointing it toward the grass? That ain't that ain't nothing to really show. But what I'm showing you is, this is where the trampoline was, guys. This is where it was. I'm gonna show you where it is in a minute. Uh, but there's where the trampoline was. And look, uh, it got sticks and different types of debris all over the ground. Tree, uh, trees all wrangled and mangled up due to all the heavy wind and everything. And just look, look at this. It's just stuff all, you know, all the trees are mangled up all the trees look at that i think something even may have broke right there yeah i can't i can't i can't quite tell let me get it. yeah yeah even had some stuff breaking bent up right there um some stuff up there all broken up bend up and mangled up uh I'm going to show the trampoline last because, you know, here's some more stuff that is all mangled up. All this stuff wasn't hanging that low. Now I'm going to have to cut it. Here's the front yard. You can see. You got big, big sticks all over the place after the storm. Look at the road. Look at all the, the look at all the debris that's in the road. All the debris that's in the road. Some more sticks. Big things. Big things. Like that big stick there. That was laying across the driveway. But we left uh to go somewhere, guys, and I took that and move it aside and there. All the debris all over the road, as you guys can see. Look at all that debris. All that debris. You can even see something on the back of that white truck there. All the debris all over the place. Mosquitoes eating me up right now. Yo, those things are a pest. I'm gonna hurry up and get to the back to the back. Or there's some more mangled up stuff. Stuff just got mangled up and all blowed around and torn up. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of work to do after this storm. Uh, we, that was a big thunderstorm morning with straight line winds. Winds at least 50, 60, 70. My part. Wait a minute. You guys see that? You guys see that right there? Look at that cloud. That's a wall cloud. So that's telling me and that's indicating me that another storm is potentially coming. Uh, there is more storms back toward that way that I got the camera pointed. I don't know if we're going to get hit by any more. But here where I am, we are under a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 p.m. It's like 5 or 6 right now. So we got more hours left of that but look at this wall cloud this i thought this i didn't i didn't even see this coming i did not see this this just showed up i was getting ready to show the trampoline guys and i was just getting ready to end it but that wall cloud caught me caught me by surprise because i was not expecting to see that look at it just moving around there i'm gonna try to hold still guys but i got mosquitoes tearing my legs up and they're trying to bite me and they itch me bad and they swells you up. This cloud right here has a little bit of rain. I've already checked the radar and looked at that, but look at this beautiful, beautiful wall cloud as it just moves across the sky. I don't know how long it is, but I know it's really long all the way back through there. And yeah, you zoom out. But like I say, guys, I'm, I'm gonna show you the guys the trampoline here in just a sec. But like I said, this is where it was. As you can see, 
the legs sit down in there in this wall cloud which still comes along just about right there in that whole wall cloud now let's show you guys where the trampoline is there's your trampoline <laughs> up against the wall up against the house actually yeah this is one big trampoline the wind took it you guys can see it a little bit if you look right here the wind took it and drug it and flip it and drug it and flipped it right next to the house you can see there it is that window there could have been broken that could have been broken if this part would have just hit that the poles are very wiggly after the wind and loose one of the poles actually lost some pieces to it i'm going to show you that here but yeah look at this crazy winds crazy here's the broken pole right there there's your broken pole but yeah oh i heard something hit the house and everything um i don't know how bad the trampolines damaged i'm gonna flip it over a little later on and see oh you, you gotta i'm gonna zoom in and i don't think you guys can see that is cracked on that pole right there after it hit the house because i heard i heard something hit the house and i was very uncertain of what it was it hit the house like hard all you heard was a big boom i thought it was a big tree branch that fell as you guys can see and that piece right there is cracked at the top too right there that one's cracked and the net i'm not sure how badly damaged that net is how it sag but there's your wall cloud right there going by just above my head it's going by wall cloud so i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of talk um uh, so let me turn the camera on me for a second so there was guys see there's there's some more wind see it, it didn't get windy till that wall cloud came by so that's what i'm saying uh there might be more storms coming i don't know um and went around there's some there is more damage around here uh not out here but not too far from here not too far from where i live as I went out in the car. Traffic lights or red lights, whatever you guys call it, are out. Um, there's a tree, a huge tree that broke in half in front of a lady's yard. Um, we went by that tree. I have some pictures of that. Um, and just in front of my school that I went to, I just, you know, looked over there. There's some, uh, some good-sized tree branches down in the neighbor's yard over there. But... By the school, a huge tree fell, knocked the power lines down, and caught them on fire, and had them on the ground on fire. And the fire, the firefighters and the EMS, the power people were down there. And not only that, but to the uh, school tennis court, the fence was all busted, and bleachers were tossed into the fence as well, so... Some different things happen. I don't know about everywhere, but like I said, I know for my area. But back to the trampoline part. It's going to be a, a hard job to just take this and flip this over. Because it's, it's really heavy. I can't tell what all broke on it and what all needs to be repaired. But I can show you by, here's a few pieces from the pole. The loose pole right here few pieces I'm gonna have to put those back together the best way I can uh, see I'm not gonna have that piece or that piece or that piece it's three little pieces I don't have neither one of those they, they, they fell somewhere on the ground and they're buried in the grass I I don't know absolutely where they 
could have gone. There's there's somewhere over there or somewhere somewhere across here. As the uh winds took the trampoline for a ride. But anyway guys, the mosquitoes are tearing me up. And I have got a look at that squirrel on the power line there. We can't do that. We'll get uh, electrocuted. But anyway, I'll give you guys an update, I guess, on the trampoline. Once, once I repair it and flip it from off of the house. <laughs>